What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this uh, unfortunate story of a 53-year-old woman who's from Bridgeport, Connecticut, which was interesting, who apparently lost her life from illegal butt injection. She tried to get a bigger butt by illegal means and ended up costing her her life. Now, this is being reported through a couple of different outlets. This article here is from Yao, and I also have one from uh, the Daily Mail. And it goes into detail about how this woman, who's from Connecticut, her body basically was dropped off at a Bronx hospital. So she's from Connecticut, but she ends up in the Bronx. Like... And you know what's interesting about this story is that there was a woman a couple of years back who was 48. She was from Philadelphia, okay? She ended up losing her life in the Bronx due to getting butt injections. This is one of the risks you take when you try to take the cheap route in order to get the bigger butt, what will be considered the easy route. Instead of them going to licensed professionals, they tend to go to people who don't have their best interest at heart whatsoever. They really don't. And these particular women end up losing their lives due to them trusting the wrong women. And that's what I believe happened in this situation because it was two women that dropped this woman's body off basically. And fled the scene. And I believe they brought her there in her car. Two women. And this is a theme. And that's what I want people to understand. Is that a lot of these women tend to trust. Women. To take care of them. And to help them through these situations. And and, and ends up not working out. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact. That these women tend to trust each other. And they go along, even though something should tell them this is not the best thing to do. It really isn't. Now, I'm going to read from the uh, Daily Mail article. So the Connecticut woman has died after she was dumped outside of a Bronx hospital, unconscious and partially nude after she reportedly received botched butt injections. Maxine uh, Massam, but I, I saw her Facebook spell last name Simpson. Uh, maybe that she changed her last name. I don't know. But that's how it was pronounced on her Facebook. Of uh, Bridgeport uh, was left at Jacoby Medical Center on Tuesday after two unidentified women drove her to the hospital in her BMW SUV and walked off. That's crazy. The 53-year-old was left unconscious and nude from the waist down. Wow. With needle marks on her body. And a foreign substance injected into her buttocks, the NYPD said. The two unknown women who drove Maxine to the hospital told the medical staff they found her in distress, asking for help at Woodlawn Cemetery and offered to, I guess, help her. Authorities were later called to the scene around 1.51 a.m. soon after Maxine died. We don't know what happened. The victim's shocked husband, Carlos Simpson, uh, to the New York uh, Daily News. She was at work and left work. So we don't know what happened from there. So according to the husband, uh, she was... Supposedly, supposedly at work, but she left work and went to the Bronx because you got to understand she's, I don't know how far the Bronx is from Bridgeport, Connecticut. I know this states are close to each other, so it may not be that long of a drive, but did she take an extended break? <laughs> you know, uh, did she leave work early? Did, you know, obviously she didn't tell him what she was doing and that's not a good thing. You know, because if you're going to the Bronx, now I don't know how many times she's been. Again, uh, I believe 
Now, I could be wrong, but the story of the women finding her in the cemetery and with her partially nude and just taking her to the hospital in her car, I don't know about that. But I don't know. It's something about that just doesn't add up. And you don't tell your husband where you're going. You, you know, I don't know what the recovery time is for butt injections, but I would assume that you'd be kind of sore. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, on her Facebook, though, I will say this. There was a picture. I believe it was her. She was turned around to show off her butt, right? And it looked like she had already had injections before. That's how it looked. It looked like she had already had injections before. You can tell. So I don't know if she was going to get them bigger. But, you know, the fact that her husband, according to him, now this is what he's saying. He did not know uh, why she was there or what happened. He just knew that she was taken off from work. And that's sad, man, that, you know. But again, she trusted the people that she was with. An autopsy has been ordered to reveal her cause of death, which has been investigated due to suspicious circumstances. Detectives want to speak with the two women who dropped Maxine off at the hospital. Everybody is really emotionally damaged at this point in time. Uh, Maxine's son, who declined to give his name, said, I would like to say something, but we don't have all the details. Botch cosmetic surgeries have become a growing and dangerous problem as enhancement procedures have become increasingly popular. A study published by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons found that there are uh, 250% increase in buttocks augmentation surgeries between the years, uh, let's see here, 2000 and 2015. But you know that's not by accident, right? You know, because of social media and the growth of social media, a lot of women look at other women who have big butts and how much attention they get, and they want they, they want to be able to uh, get the same attention as well. And because of that, it drives them to go and get these surgeries when they don't even need to do that. Don't even do that, but they do it anyway because they see who what their favorite celebrities are doing. And they want to copy that. They see the amount of attention they get. They see their, their, their following grow. They see the amount of attention from men that they get. And it's unfortunate that women feel that they have to go this route, you know, in order to get more attention. Because ultimately, that's, that's what it's for. Because this one was married. So we can't say that she was doing it because she wanted to go out there and get her a boyfriend. or man. No, nah, she already had a husband. But it was to make herself look better in her eyes. And she felt like by getting these injections, that was the best way to do it. Even though I'm not a fan of that, I think there are better ways of getting a bigger butt. And black women are supposed to be, you know, the women who who have the natural big butts. But what you're noticing is more black women are getting bigger butts. They're the ones going to Dominican Republic and Colombia more than anybody. While nearly every other cosmetic procedure saw a decrease in appointment before and after during uh, before and earlier during the COVID pandemic, butt lifts saw a spike increasing about 22 percent from 2019 to 2020. Uh, the TikTok tag BBL have 4.6 billion views with users showing off their before and after photos and documenting their surgeries, which can cost upward of 7,000. An increase in cultural obsession with these procedures and their results combined with the high costs have pushed some people to find illegal and unregulated uh, surgeries, which have led to multiple uh, deaths in the recent years. Dr. Henry Spinelli, Professor of Plastic Surgery and Neurosurgery uh, at Well Cornell and New York Presbyterian Hospital has had five people visit him with significant complications from procedures performed by non-medical procedures, but professionals. There is a risk of embolization entering 
large vessels and developing clots that spread to the lungs, etc. Endangering one's life is not something to take light. I take lightly and would try to dissuade as much as possible, Spinelli told CBS New York. Well, you can do that all you want to. It's up to them to actually listen to you. And a lot of times they're not going to listen to you. A lot of these women are going to do what they want to do. And honestly, you know, you just have to, you know, let them go. Uh, let them make their own decisions because they're adults. Um, but you can speak about it. You can be honest about it. And you can say, hey, you know, there are dangers to this. And some people don't like when you speak on these things. Some people don't like when you bring this to the forefront and say, you know, these women are injuring themselves. They're harming themselves by getting these injections. If you're going to go get the, the butt lift, go to a surgeon, a licensed surgeon, you know, which is going to be costly, but it's more, it's a safer option than getting injections. But she may have had injections before. I'm not sure. But like I said, I saw a picture on her Facebook and she was turned around and she was showing her, she was showing off her assets and it looked like she had had work done. There was somebody in the comment section that didn't like the photo being posted. But uh, hopefully, you know, so whoever did it is brought to justice because this is the second story I've seen of a woman losing her life from getting injections in the Bronx. And they weren't even from the Bronx. They were one was from Philadelphia. Another one like her is from Bridgeport, Connecticut. So something got to be done, man. Let me think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like the video, share it, and I'll see y'all next one.